This is Twit. Um, what's up with uh, Ampere and their massive ARM server part? So this is a company, we probably talked about this several months back when they kind of came out of their stealth mode and now they've actually released a product. It is an ARM-based server part. It is a 3.3 gigahertz, 32-core, 64-bit ARM processor. It's built on TSMC 16 nanometer process technology. It can support up to one terabyte of DDR4 memory. It's got 42 PCIe 3.0 lanes, uh, all in a single socket. Uh, next generation will support multi-socket. This one is just a uh, single socket. Um, it is a 125 watt TDP, so very different than your typical ARM-based processor. Uh, but this is kind of, this is targeting the, um, the, the Intel Xeon scalable realm of processors, right? And mm -hmm. it's, it's a, it's a different class of product. And let me know how it says. It's this part, this ARM, this Ampere processor is going to be $850. It doesn't take you very far up the stack on the Xeon line to cross an $850 processor. Right. In terms of <laughs> raw performance specs, you know, the Intel CPUs are going to be faster. What, what, what ARM and its partners like Ampere are really promoting is performance per watt, performance per dollar uh, in these hyperscale production areas. Think Places where they're having thousands of machines. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the software head at this company talks about like, look, if you have a lot of custom software that you've built, you know, our solutions may not be perfect for you because you have to recompile and reconfigure your software for an ARM environment. If you're running mostly Linux-based standard stack software, most of that mm -hmm. has already been converted over and optimized for ARM as a large part because of the work that this company has done in, in, uh, in the Linux uh, environments. And you'll be able to get up and running relatively quickly. Um, what they're able to do in terms of market share and penetration is going to be interesting because, you know, probably when this project's these projects are started. AMD wasn't a real factor. Now at the Epic line is a factor. They're very much going after single socket server designs uh, with mm -hmm. high memory cap uh, capacity, high PCIe throughput, um, probably, you know, in the same TDP ranges, but more expensive on cost as well. So it'll be interesting to see how this all pans out. Next month, I'll be at the ARM TechCon event where uh, they will have a, uh, a keynote talking about the roadmap for their server lineup. And it will be interesting to see what ARM has to say about this since, you know, they started launching the A76, which is a much larger core with higher performance going after, you know, Intel Core i5 level capabilities. If they are going to continue that trend and make bigger, more powerful cores um, to kind of go after these secondary segments that aren't mobile phones and tablets.